Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. At one time, the prize in this rivalry game was an actual live turtle. Turtles live a long time, but not forever. Now the big turtle is made of wood, but the prize is still coveted. Ohio State and Illinois get set to meet for the Illabuck. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Ohio State is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 32. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Hit out of bounds at the 35. That'll make it second and seven. Mike five. Check, 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 check. Tackle made at the 47. Now he took the pitch there and was able to get the first down. It's a nice option play. goes nowhere the offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen but getting up to the linebackers that way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level from their own 42 yard line it's second down so an empty backfield with five wide receivers pulls down the catch and he's got room here and down he goes around the 50 yard line Kirk, you and I have talked to the coaches. We've talked to his teammates. Everybody says this kid's a real deal. We're about ready to find out. They come out on an empty backfield. Strike to his receiver, no good. Yeah, any time a quarterback makes a throw like this, the best thing a wide receiver can do is come over to the quarterback and pat him on the back and tell him to shake it off and let's make the next play a better play. The worst thing you can do is put your arms up in the air as if you're blaming the quarterback. Come over, tell him it's all right, and you move on. The Buckeyes have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. But when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. Slings it. And he's tackled at the 48. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. Frederick gets a carry right side. He makes it to the 45-yard line. the 35. The Buckeyes have a player that's up for national awards. It's all speculation right now. You can talk about awards after you win them. He's got to worry about playing this football game. Let's go! Tackle. 
tackle right around the 32 yard line. That makes it second and eight. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Steps out of bounds at the 28-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. up out there that's just one more reason to play to the whistle from their own 48 yard line first down scrambling around a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Throws to the tight end and that ball's incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. Makes it to the 22-yard line. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Down to about the 25 yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Call it again in five yards. That'll bring up third and two. Throws this one away. Yates is waiting for the snap. Tackle at the 46 yard line. Boy, neither offense can find any kind of rhythm so far, Herbie. Yeah, it almost feels like the two offenses are just kind of feeling their way right now, allowing both these defenses to just, just to dominate the game. We've played one quarter. No score here. Back 
back to the action now here in the second quarter. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Now he tries to buy some time. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Loss of one on the play. That, that brings, brings up third and 14. 14. Tight, tight left, tight left. Four down, four down. Mike five, Mike five. Going long. Excellent open field tackle. zone the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with but they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown one of the things a quarterback's looking for before the ball is snapped on a post route is to see if he has one safety in the middle of the field because with one safety you can use your eyes to move that safety and then throw back the other way for the touchdown I thought the quarterback that time did a really good job of managing that safety and eventually making the throw for the touchdown. Time to check out what's going on in Stillwater. And for Kansas State, a very lethargic performance so far. If they don't watch out, they're going to be in a world of hurt. The Cowboys are out front, 21-17. Well, people were predicting some upsets this week, but I'd be shocked if that score goes up. Haley looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Sims has got the first of what should be many tackles to come. He's a heck of a player, really explosive and quick, a sure tackler, as you can see on that one. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And he dives forward. Nice job by the quarterback to tuck that one and run. Nice job here. He's not the most athletic quarterback out there, but you can see that he makes up for it with his decision-making ability. Here he looks downfield, finds nobody open, and decides to take off with it and comes up with a solid game. Quick out to his receiver. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 41. They come out in a five-wide set. He's on the run. Decides to slide. That's good to have gained five yards. That'll make it second and four. On the ground, left side. And he's taken down around the 36 yard line. going to try and scramble and they make the stop around the 26 yard line
Makes it to the 14. That's a deep 12 on the ground. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 14. These tackles at the 17 yard line. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held on to the football there. This is the eighth play of this drive. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. And they'll get him in the backfield. So we're looking at another third down here. The Buckeyes quarterback down there on the sideline, and Kirk, you and I talked to him earlier this week, and he is really the main cog in this offense. Doesn't look like he's that much pain right now. They need him back on the field before this one's over. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Steps up. Caught. Nice play to set up first and goal. Well, that's just an incredible job by this offense. But what in the world was the defense thinking? This is the 11th play of this drive. Hey, pick it up, defense. Let's go. Come on. Throws to the receiver. Got it for the touchdown. to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Wildcats come into today's game ranked second in the land. This is the game we've been watching closely today. The Wildcats have the perfect connection and a touchdown. And for Denman, he's over the 150-yard mark. The Wildcats are out front 24-21. Well, it seems like every year we have one of those weekends where there's upset specials, and that one would be an upset. Ohio State lines up for the kickoff. What a collision! You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Second and ten. Ball on their own 40. Now he's scrambling. And he hits him hard at the 44. screen tackle made at about the 45 they couldn't get the first down well here they were hoping to get a few extra yards after the catch give the defense credit they held him short murphy is the punter they'll bring him down at the 27 when he made the decision to return the ball i'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run but boy did it vanish in a hurry still he got something out of it they did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly 
have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. Quick strike and he drops it. The pass was right on target, so that took a perfectly timed hard hit to knock it free. Strong defense to deny the completion. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 27-yard line. Nice run there. You know, great effort here by the ball carrier, but I think they need to pass in that situation most of the time. Illinois just took their first time out. Parrish is the deep man awaiting the return. front return. Yeah, but his blockers have to do a better job of helping him out. They didn't hold the coverage team at bay. They just let him right through. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Right. Illinois is going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 33. He lets it fly. Williams, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. hit before he can go anywhere. Over the middle to his tailback. And he's tackled at the 44-yard line. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. He sails it long. Almost picked off. So at the end of the half, we get a tie game at 7-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. The passing numbers put up in the first half are hardly gaudy. Less than six yards per pass for these two teams. So you look at it and you want your quarterback to take care of the ball. I, turnovers are killers. I yep. get that. A little, but, too, a little too conservative in the first half. The quarterback, you want him to be a little bit more aggressive out there? Well, if you're not, then it's going to make it extremely easy on the defense. And I say that because if you don't push the ball down the field, I don't have to respect the whole field. There's a reason the field's 52-plus yards wide and 100 yards long. I mean, if you make me honor that and you, you, make it, you throw it down the field 30 or 40 yards and you make me run all the way down there and cover that area as well, it makes it a lot harder on a defense. Right now, the passes are so short, you're only making me cover 30, 40 yards. It makes it easy on a defense. The pass rush, you get your hands up and try to deflect balls. You know the ball's coming out early. It makes everything extremely simple on a defense when you make passes just dink and dunk, dink and dunk. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You gotta make every possession count. out to his receiver. Tackle right around the 28-yard line.
from their own 28-yard line. Second down. Looks middle, got his back, and he's tackled right away. Passing situation here, a third and long. One of the 22. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Yates awaits the snap. Parrish fields it at the 46. Brought down at the 45. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. He's at the 30, and it's the senior. He's taken down right around the 24-yard line. Yeah, the defense looked a little sluggish there, and they can do better than that. From the 24-yard line, first down. He scrambled. And down he goes at about the 17 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field, D. My five. They'll bring him down at the 12 yard line. to about the 11-yard line. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. From the 11-yard line, it's third down. Zips it to the back. He's hit and taken down. Lost the five on the play. That'll make it fourth and 14. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Illinois could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the six. He's tackled at the 22. Illinois is continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Here they come. Throws it deep. Brought down at the 36-yard line. First 
He guns it. He goes up and gets it. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. And he converts the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Wildcats arrive at today's game, number two in the nation. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for Kansas State, they're playing great football right now. Denman's got a hose for an arm, and already he's tossed two scoring strikes. The Wildcats are on top, 31-24. Early moments of the fourth quarter. Well, there's some talk this week that we might see some upsets this week. I don't think you could ever expect that to happen, though. Moore, ready to kick. Caught at the 8. Tackle made at the 30. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in this third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and to come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. He's at midfield. And he's taken down at the 36. Anytime you see a screen run and it's executed that well, you, you got to think that there's a couple defenders over there that are on islands and they're just kind of left there. And they don't have anything to do. If the defensive line's unable to chase this play down from behind, it really puts those undersized linebackers and defensive backs in a tough position to try to take on 300-pound offensive linemen and try to make a play against the running back and receivers. That's a tough place to be as a defender. level at the 27-yard line. That's a loss of six yards. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. the stop around the 25 yard line that's a gain of two right left, right left. that brings us third and 14. Mike five Mike five and he might want it all here and does oh he had a shot at the pick looks like they've decided to go for it here they'll spread the field with five wide quickly and he's got his man he's pushed out of bounds at the one he's gonna try and scramble they bring the quarterback down loss of seven yards on the play that brings up second and goal This is the eighth play of the drive. Go. Go. Caught end zone for the touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver. 
receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Wildcats enter today's game ranked second in the nation and knowing that they have a target on their back. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. We have got an all-out Donnybrook on our hands. Fielded at the nine. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. But well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Pitches it. He's got the corner. They hand it off. And he's tackled after positive yardage. And it looks like this one's going to come down to the final quarter. 17-14, Illinois. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Coming to you, coming to you. He gets rid of this one. Third and long. This defense digs in here, and it could be their ball game. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 46-yard line. There's a strike complete. And they push him out at about the 39-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. He's under pressure. Wants to throw outside. He holds it in and gets out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. Three down, three down. Check three, check three, check three. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. Tacks on the extra point. An eight-play, 72-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Ohio State to kick this one off. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Quick throw. Tackle made at the 46. Man, and they 
take him down immediately. The pass good for maybe seven yards. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. Throws it in a hurry. And he tackles him hard at the 28. Second down. Less than three minutes in the game. And he makes it out to about the eight yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. Man, left, man, left. Four down, four down. Mike five, Mike five. Gets to about the eight yard line. These two coordinators are going back and forth between the offense and the defense. And that time, the defensive coordinator, I think, had a good idea of what was coming, put his players in position to make a play, and give those players a lot of credit. They played that third down with a lot of energy and really an aggressive attitude to be able to stop that play.
The offense didn't get the playoff in time. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he hits the PAT. It was an 11-play, 56-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So our score, 24-21. Haley has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. Across the 30. He's taken down at midfield. So, Kirk, here we go. Bozeman's got center stage. This is what we've been waiting for to watch him try to lead his team to the go-ahead score. And I can't think of a better situation for this offense. I mean, they've got a chance to control this game late in the ball game with one of the best quarterbacks in all of college football in charge. He needs to take a deep breath and just relax and go through his progressions. This defense better dig in. This is going to be one exciting finish to this game. The ball pops free. It's picked up by the defense. Dives forward. Ohio State staff just devastated when you look at them over on the sideline after that turnover. Well, everything seemed to be falling into place for them with a chance to win the game and then to turn it over like this. Oh, my gosh. What a nightmare. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And they make the stop around the 47-yard line. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. Ohio State's going to take their first time out of the half. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Nice run, and he's brought down. What a critical first down as time ticks away. Huge, huge first down. The defense desperately needed a stop there. Bring him down right around the 46-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. The offensive line has got to do a better job of making space because that was just a punishing hit. Second down, 10 yards to go. The ball on the 46-yard line. He takes it right side for a good game. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. This is what you dream about, situations like this. You've got the football, you're behind, but if you take the lead, it could mean a win. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game. He goes downtown. This one's in the books, and our final score, 24-21, fighting Illini. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Illinois came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.